there's so much more to come. I would hope you want to continue with this role. Oh my God, absolutely. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Yes. I feel her very deeply and um, I think that this movie was a runway to a bigger story for her. Do you know what this symbol stands for? Supergirl? It means hope, right? Hope, yeah, does it mean hope? Yes. Hi, Sasha! Hi! The Flash is upon us. It's upon us. Supergirl is your feature film debut. Yeah, that's crazy, huh? What an amazing sentence. I know, say it again. <laughs> Supergirl is your feature <laughs> film debut. You're playing no. freaking Supergirl. <laughs> I know, honestly, it's a shock. I went to the premiere last night, and even hearing you say that, I, it's still kind of a shock to me. And we've all, thousands of people, you know what? It was really beautiful to see the credits, uh, the role at the end of the film, because thousands of people truly worked on this movie. And um, I'm so happy that it's coming out because everyone's love and, and hard work is, is finally coming to fruition and it's exciting to celebrate it together. Let's back it all the way up because yeah. I want to talk about your casting. There's this great video yeah. of Andy telling you that you got the role, yeah. but he hops on the call with you and he's like, yeah, we're still figuring out, blah, blah, blah. And he's yeah. like, can you fly? <laughs> and you can like just watch like the gears turning of you being like, what the hell is he talking about? Can you fly? Can I fly? Mm -hmm. Like, what do you mean, can I fly? You're Supergirl. Well, because truly I had no idea what he was saying, you know. It was an untitled Warner Brothers movie and the character was a dummy character. Her name was Jana. So they didn't tell me what I was auditioning for. And when I signed the contract, I still didn't know what I was auditioning for. And then I signed the contract. Um, and then they called me four days after the testing and that video happened and he's like, can you fly? And so in my head, I was like, like on an airplane, like what, what do you want me to go somewhere? Like what's happening? And Where am I meeting you? <laughs> exactly. That's why it made no sense to me, obviously. And then he showed me the uh, suit and it was, it was really, really special and really cool. Cause he pulls it out. It's, it's already made. And he's like, you're playing Supergirl. I know. And that was, that was when I found out, uh, First that I had gotten the job, I was like, so I got the job and, and also I'm playing Supergirl. Um, and that, that was wild for me. It's kind of a cliche question, but I love this. Like when people put the suit on for the first time, mm -hmm. what did that feel like? It took a, a long process. Uh, the costume designer um, was incredible and, and there was a really large team of people creating the suits. Um, but it took a long time, believe it or not. I, I would say it was like pin the tail on the donkey, but pin the muscles on Sasha. Um, Cause I was just standing there and they were just adding the suit and, and making sure everything was in place and um, taking everything in. Um, they're incredible. Um, that team is phenomenal. And when we finally got there, um, it was a really beautiful experience. It was really beautiful and powerful. And Alex, who was the designer, was really proud. And, and to me, that's all that mattered was that we completed the vision and got to where it needed to be. What would you say makes this iteration of Supergirl different than any iteration we've seen before? She um, she starts different um, because of the, the multiverse. Um, her, her entry into the film is a little darker um, and it's so different, which I think is really, really cool. But she's more, she's got this like androgynous thing to her and she's very powerful. Um, and, and I love that her suit is, is, it's mobile, you know, it's a suit that you would wear if you're about to fight someone. It allows you to move um, and fly, uh, you know, do things. I would say the suit is just mobile and really cool. But yeah, she just comes in differently in the sense that she's been in prison for years when she arrived to Earth. So she's very sad and upset um, and that's, that's a new beginning that we haven't seen before. You met Henry Cavill after filming, your yes. cousin. Yes. Um, what did you say to him? What did he say to you? Um, you know what? Everyone's asking me this question and I, <laughs> with all the love, I obviously, Henry, have such love and respect for, for uh, Man of Steel. I love that movie so very much. Um, I obviously, I, I don't want to speak for him, but I, I yeah, I look, I told him, I gave him a hug and um, I was really excited to meet him. And I, you know, I was like, what would you think? Uh, did I make you proud, you know? And he was like, yeah, yeah. And it, it was, you know, in his own words, we obviously have a very different lingo. Mm -hmm. He is very proper and, and kind and, and very glorious. 
Um, but he, it was really incredible meeting him. Um, he was very kind. He met my dog. I was like, you have to meet my dog. Um, and he met my dog. Um, he's just very sweet. Uh, Henry's a very sweet and kind human. That's awesome. Yeah. When you think about growing up, being introduced to the comics, games, animated show, wherever your entry point was, do you remember the first hero that you were like, they are so cool. I really want to be them. Yeah, Gal Gadot, Wonder Woman. She's a queen. I, I love her very much. I saw Wonder Woman in 2017. I just graduated college and I was super broke. <laughs> um, I had so many jobs. I was literally any fast cash that I could get. I was like a standing extra for I think so you think you can dance sometimes. Like, you know, they pay people like 50 bucks and you just walk in there and stand for six hours. And around that time I went and watched uh, Wonder Woman and I had this like janky piece of cardboard and I cut out a picture of her and I placed it on there and I knew when I saw her that that's what I wanted to do and when I met her I was like I'm sorry I have to fangirl and I have to tell you that you are the reason that I was able to see myself up there and that's why representation matters I mean I, I literally saw her on the big screen and I, I was like wow I have to do that, that's what I want to do. I also belong up there. And I think years later, it's just really crazy that, um, that I'm here. And she did, she messaged me yesterday morning and she, and she said, you know, congratulations. She's just so loving and she's like, enjoy this moment, enjoy your hard work. And um, I, I'm really grateful for that relationship. Is there anything like that no man's land scene? It is just. I know. <sighs> Yeah, the movie is incredible. It's such a good movie. It's it's untouchable, that movie. There's so much more to come. I would hope you want to continue with this role. Oh my god, absolutely. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Yes. Have you spoken with James Gunn about it? I, I, why wouldn't you be the Supergirl in I, Supergirl Woman of Tomorrow? That's really sweet. Thank you so much. <laughs> I hope so. I hope so. I, I love her so much and uh, I hope so. I, I feel her very deeply and um, I think that this movie was a runway to a bigger story for her. I was gonna say, is there is there a story that you really feel like is in it that you would like to tell? Let's say it's completely up to you. Powers of Beer, like, Sasha, what do you wanna do? I don't know. I mean, I know that they're doing Supergirl Woman of Tomorrow. Um, I just wanna dive deeper into Kara, in, into her feelings, into her day to day. I think the Tom King story is very cool. I think that space story is really iconic. I eventually do, I mean, it's been told Melissa Benoist did the Supergirl. As a fan, I would just love to see her in regular clothes. Right, yeah. In human clothes. As a fan, I through the whole time that I was filming, I kept thinking, what would she wear? What glasses would she wear? What 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 are her clothes, you know? Yeah. And I as a as a fan, I think that that would be really cool for me um to see. Yeah, because we meet her you yeah, know, we meet her where she is, and then you're yeah, like... Yeah, super, a Supergirl. Yeah. No, we don't meet, like, Cara Danvers, or, um, you know, we don't meet her human, realized self. Um, so as a fan, that's that would be something very cool. But I do know they're doing uh, the space, which I also think is, is iconic, by the way. But as a fan, I think that would be really cool. Are you ready? Ready. Let's go.